So I'm going to tell one of the teams, uh, we're going to do a scenario and I'm going to tell one of the teams that they're starting two points down, uh, see what that, whether that changes their behaviour, see if they come up with some tactical solutions to it and hopefully put a little bit of pressure on them to, uh, to score. Cool, can I have the bibs here please? You happy you got equal teams? We're going to play a, a, a two minute game. I'll explain the rules to, to everyone in a second. However, you guys are going to start two scores down against these guys. Blue team, without telling, without giving the game away, just tell me how that felt. So what was that like, that last two minutes? So we would start a lot of sessions. We used to do them at the end, actually, but actually start a lot of sessions with like a scenario, whatever it looks like. So there it was Blue's two scores down. You're the first team that hasn't come back to win, although you did win that little game. And, and everyone talks about those kind of feelings of, we needed to do it, a little bit of pressure on us. It felt like the game. It generally kind of focuses you rather than we're kind of floating around in the ether. I'm sure you guys are manipulating the constraints of the game. This for me is one of the best ones just to allow offside players. One or if there's bigger numbers, it might be two offside players because it also challenges the defence as well. So guys who normally don't look up, start looking up for space and just looking in the line, see which defenders have dropped. So uh, I want you guys to, um, how would you want to defend? I'm going to constrain your defence. Um, we're going to play the same game, but you can choose how you defend and it's going to be up to, let's see if they work it out or not. So how would you want to defend? In terms of them still having the offside player? Yeah, they'd still have an offside player. Back. Back. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you're going to always have one, always, only, allow, only allow one back. Yeah. So should we say it to you? Okay. Cool. And everyone else can be really tight and they're going to drift. And we'll, and we'll see if they solve it. Yeah. yeah. It's not Seven's defence, but I get what you're saying. It's definitely, a, it's definitely a solution, isn't it? You guys ready? Let's go. Same game. Great question, though. So we've now given the uh, defence an opportunity to pick how they defend and we're going to put them into a system so that hopefully the attack can work it out and, uh, and, uh, and, and solve the problem. Great work, defence. Yellow ball. Blues come in 30 seconds. So we're going to, um, I'm going to change it up now. You're going to have no one at the back and you're just going to put huge pressure on them all the time. No one's allowed to sweep. Got it? Just come in, just come in. So let's go yellows. What, what do you think I was doing with blues there? So what do you think I was saying to blues in those two uh, kind of little huddles we had? So in the second one, they didn't have a sweep. In the first one, they had a man back. How were they defending? So what would be your solutions for, for that first one where, as, as someone described it, seven's defence. It's not seven's defence, by the way. So who said seven's defence? Oh. So we do a lot of stuff where actually just defence coaches attack, attack, attack coaches defence. So we might constrain one group and say, look, this is how we want you to do it and see if these guys find the solution to it. And you guys are pretty good at that, to be fair. And we would think a lot about who we give information to. So it would have been really easy if I'd just said, oh, Blues, you're going to defend like this and you guys have all the answers. Sometimes we might pull out one guy and say, right, here's a piece of information. You, you're not allowed to shout, but you've got to disseminate it. So it might be the kid that isn't that good at communicating, we might want to try and help develop his communication. So we do, with some players, we might say, actually, don't, you're not allowed to tell anyone, but your team's not allowed to score unless you touch the ball either once or twice.